What's up and welcome to Versus Battle Cards. Today we have a battle between two boy geniuses who see the truths that others refuse to believe. Whether it's chasing aliens back to their home planets or demons back to their original dimensions, these two will stop at nothing to expose these truths for what they really are. It's Dib Membrane from Invader Zim versus Dipper Pines from Gravity Falls. According to our Discord poll, Dib has a pretty big lead in votes and predictions. However, there are still a few sticking up for Dipper. One even used a super vote, so they must really believe in him. Let's dig deep and find out if the underdog has what it takes, or if Dib has already solved the mystery to victory. There's so much more to stopping an alien invasion than just exposing the aliens to the humans or destroying them all in some big war. You need the tools to study them, to find their weaknesses, to infiltrate their bases, to foil their phases and steps towards world domination. And boy howdy does Dib Membrane have the tools. He's incredibly acrobatic and super stealthy. He's been able to slip through all of Zim's security and infiltrate his lab on multiple occasions. He's also very smart and resistant and can fight off hypnosis for a good while. He also has X-ray gear, not sure how useful they'll be in this fight, but hey, they're pretty cool. He has a microscopic robot that he can control and fly into people's bodies to mess with their internal organs and nerves and stuff. He created an overly complex water balloon slingshot. He was able to reverse engineer some of Zim's tech and create a tech that could fuse your DNA with that of baloney, turning you into a giant sausage over time. He has a giant ham in his pocket and he's also not afraid of throwing hands. He'll whack you with his briefcase. And last but not least, he has Tack Ship. It can do pretty much anything Zim's ship can do. It can fly without a pilot. It could possibly eject its own thrusters and use them as lasers. It even has its own consciousness and personality. It has the addition of giant pointy claw things for stabbing. And potentially, it even comes with a spacesuit like Zim Ship, creating a bubble that allows you to breathe in space and giving you a jetpack with thrusters and whatnot. If anyone is ready to fight back an alien threat, that person is Dib. As for solving mysteries and stopping interdimensional threats, Dipper's got you covered there. He's not quite as acrobatic or stealthy as Dib, but he's just as good at throwing hands, like when he defeated the Multi-Bear with the spear he got from Lidarar. And although his main focus isn't aliens, he was still able to disarm some alien tech with his magnet gun, which could also be used for transportation, sliding down walls and clinging to ceilings. He also has a memory gun, which can either delete specific things from someone's mind or erase their entire personality. Too many uses could make them lose their mind entirely and go insane. Dipper has even invented his own gear. It was very sloppily put together, but it works. He taped a magic crystal to a flashlight and essentially made a size-changing ray. It can change the size of objects, the size of people, or he can even be more precise with it and change only specific parts. And in the end, I think Dipper takes this category pretty easily. Dib does have a higher number of tools at his disposal, but Dipper's tools are just so much better and even have specific counters to Dib's stuff. Dib's X-ray gear is kind of useless in this battle. His water balloon gun and microscopic robot take way too long to set up. Dipper is way too smart to be fooled into getting pricked by Dib's baloney tack. And Dipper's magnet gun should no doubt be able to take down Tack ship, considering it's taken down alien ships before. The only thing Dib has left at this point is his stealth and throwing hands, so Dipper definitely wins the arsenal category. But let's check out what the YouTube predictions are thinking. Speed-wise, Dib takes the cake. Now on his own, Dib is able to pilot entire planets around the solar system at speeds much greater than light itself. But he's also quick enough to outmaneuver and outpace Zim and his ship the Voot Cruiser, which is able to fly to Earth from outside the galaxy in about six months. That's quite the time frame, but considering the massive distance, that's still roughly 200,000 times the speed of light. As for Dipper, his weapons, like the memory gun which can shoot lasers, or his flashlight, which is a flashlight, should obviously be able to attack at speeds of light. 
but Dipper himself has even dodged a laser from the memory gun at point-blank range. This obviously means he matches the speed of light or even slightly surpasses it, but Dib still outclasses him by quite a bit. About 200,000 times to be exact. Strength-wise, Dib is very tough too. He's able to fight and wrestle evenly with Zim, who's a trained Urken soldier. He can survive some long falls and pretty big explosions. And he survived his entire city being wiped off the map on multiple occasions, either by a giant water balloon or a slow motion explosion. He was also able to spend a pretty decent amount of time inside the Florpis, which was powerful enough to rip planets apart. But that might be looking a bit too deep into it. We should probably just stick to city level Dib. As for Dipper, he survived a beating from Rumble McSkirmish who can punch through brick walls and create massive explosions. He survived a deadly crash landing from that alien ship he took down. He survived a blast from one of Bill Cipher's finger lasers which destroyed an entire building. He definitely doesn't match Bill Cipher's full power, don't even try to argue that. And he's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lil Gideon, who survived the destruction of his own robot, the blast of which being so powerful it could wipe out multiple city blocks. But that's not quite enough. Dib is still much tougher. But let's see what the Discord predictions are thinking. This final category is pretty tricky to figure out, but I'm gonna lean towards Dipper, and here's why. Experience-wise, though Dib has been battling Zim much longer than Dipper has been battling everything else combined, he still is just fighting Zim over and over and over again. Dipper has dealt with living video game characters, the multi-bear, time travelers, demons, ghosts, animatronics, and everything else. As for skill, I'd say they're about even. Dib is more acrobatic and stealthy, while Dipper is more strategic and can throw better hands. Intelligence-wise, I'm gonna have to give it to Dipper. Dib can often get so obsessed and so dedicated with stopping Zim and exposing the truth that he will put his own self in mortal danger to do so. And considering he's locked in a mental struggle against Zim who also lacks that common sense, while Dipper can outsmart interdimensional demons, it's pretty clear who's the brains here. But even so, the winner is Dib Membrane. Now Dipper's arsenal and intelligence when compared to Dib is pretty wild. Like I said before, Dipper literally has every tool needed to counter pretty much any tool of Dib's. And with his big old brains, he should be able to come up with a good strategy to keep Dib on his toes. It's just unfortunate though that in the end it wouldn't do much due to Dib's much greater stat advantage. Dib is thousands of times stronger at city level compared to Dipper's multi-city block level, and he's hundreds of thousands of times faster. I wish there was more to it, but it's as simple as that. Dib is just way too strong and way too fast. But let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with this outcome? And thank you for predicting in this episode. Be sure to predict the next time with a comment down below, a comment in my Discord server, voting in the Discord poll, or making a video prediction. As for the next time, we are at the season finale, guys. And just like the season finale for last season, we are going to be digging into a matchup that's grown in popularity in the Versus community over the past few years. And it involves evil Superman archetypes. You love them, you hate them, you love to hate them. It's Titan from Megamind versus Homelander from The Boys.